Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on the test server. Link in the description if you want to know how to get onto it. But we are here. We've got the new hero, Ulnar, the Celestial. And wow. Okay, so here's the situation. I know I just did a poll, a community poll, letting you guys vote which Celestial or Hypergen I do next. The winner seems to be Orthros, but I don't care. We're doing this chick. Visually, like, this is an amazing... Vi like, she looks sick, and the fact that she has the wolves, the full art looks sick. Oh, it's... Like, tell me this design is not wicked. This is an absolutely savage design. I absolutely love it. She's got the wolves. It looks... It looks sick. It looks... Sick. Okay, so that's the first part. The the in-game sprite looks sick as well. Um, I don't. I haven't actually gone to the tri the arena of trials to test her yet, but it doesn't like look like the wolves ever really come out, which kind of sucks. I was hoping the wolves would. Um, but yeah, once again, now take my excitement for new hero as excitement for new hero. I think on paper she sounds really strong, but everyone tells me I overhype everything. So take it with a grain of salt, make your own judgment. I think she looks amazing. Anyway, let's kick it off Kick it off with the ultimate. Now the ultimate is one of those ones that has a passive and an active effect. So the base passive, all characters on the battlefield, including allies, have their haste reduced by 40 points. Active, Ulna calls down a blizzard upon all enemies, dealing 340% damage to them, causing any haste reductions to be multiplied by two times over 12 seconds. I don't know if it means like they gradually increase to a multiplication of two at the end of the 12 seconds or for 12 seconds, the effects are doubled, which is the way I think it is. So for 12 seconds, they have their haste reduction doubled, but like she's got way more haste reduction. So just wait for it. Um, also nullifying any haste buffs that are that I received during this time. The effects of this ability cannot be affected by any other abilities. This is the important bit, because as I was reading this, I'm like, yeah, haste, you know, but the twins will just use their alt and clear the debuffs and then apply the haste. But the effects of this ability cannot be affected by any other abilities is the thing that gets me excited. So um, the one thing I'm not sure with the twins come into it or like something like a, um, a forks removing debuffs, I don't know if it will remove other haste debuffs, meaning that they just get put to a minimum that this ability applies, meaning the 40 points, um, and then that gets doubled. So being basically 80 points, but if all the other haste reductions stay on and then get doubled, then it's, it's gonna be absolutely savage. So next ability. I want to thrust her spear into an enemy target, dealing damage equal to 10% of their max health. Damage cannot exceed 520% um, of her own attack rating. Now, this is where wording is going to be key. On level 2, damage dealt is increased by 1% of the enemy's max health whenever there is haste, whenever their haste is reduced by 3 points. Does that mean for every 3 points, there is an extra 1% of their max health? If so, this is going to be able to do massive amounts. It's basically going to, most of the time, deal 520% of her attack. Because obviously, it can't go past that. Um, but due to all the... Like, if you just look at the base, there's 40 there. So that's giving you, what, 10, 11, 12, 13 times... Like, an extra 13%. Um, so you can see how that's going to stack very, very quickly. And then there's other haste reductions. Um, take into account, once she activates this, it's doubled. Um, so... If it is like that, it's going to be very strong and basically just a pure 520 multiplier uh, by the end of it, um, just because she's going to get up to pretty high percentages. Um, and as you can see here, the base level is 14%, then you get all those add-ons. So it's going to be really, really nice damage. Curious to see if this could have some effects on bosses. I don't think she's going to be used in bosses because she does reduce her own team's haste. So that's where she's going to fall off, and I don't think she will see the use in bosses, but we'll have to wait and see. Next ability, Ona calls upon the frigid wind to encircle herself and disrupt her enemies. Wait for it. Ona is immune to damage and control abilities for 7 seconds and nearby enemies will have their dodge reduced by 280 points. 
effect lasts for nine seconds with skill ups. The other thing that I forgot to mention already is she is a warrior. I saw people getting salty that she was going to be a ranger. She is an agility, but she is a warrior, which is kind of cool. I kind of like the agility warrior combo there when you got some nice effects like this. Um, next up. Ona uses her spear to swipe at nearby enemies, dealing 200% damage to them, also reducing their haste by 20 points for 5 seconds. Each use of this ability increases the number of attacks that are dealt, up until a maximum of 3 attacks are reached. This ability's haste reduction effects may be stacked. Um, so it seems like she swipes, does AoE, and it seems like she's just going to repeat a swipe until she gets interrupted. That's the way I, un I, I read it, um, and you might get up to a 60 point haste reduction stacked, swiping, meaning AoE in my terms, um, so that seems pretty strong unless I am reading that wrong, but not too bad for the AoE. If she's swiping three times, dealing 250% damage, that becomes a 750% uh, AoE damage, if it works that way. I'm not too sure, but with a haste reduction. We'll have to wait and see how that, that pans out. We might be able to see it when we just go into a play test. Now the signature item. During battles, when she suffers damage, she gradually recovers 50% of the health which was lost over the next 15 seconds. So it's just a, it's just a stacking hot that she's going to have or heal over time where she keeps healing. Uh, then it becomes 70% over the 15 seconds. Then it becomes 70% over 10 seconds. Um, and then when her health drops below 50% for the first time, she immediately activates Winter's Call, which is invincibility and can, uh, immunity to control effects, which is cool. Then we jump into the furniture, which I really love too. When placed on the front line, damage dealt by other frontline ally causes enemy targets to lose haste points uh, for 30, lose five haste points for 30 seconds. This ability cannot be stacked. So damage dealt by other frontline ally is going to reduce like this isn't a great three furniture is pretty average if you ask me it just means her ally reduces enemy's haste by five points she at base reduces everyone's by 40. uh unless i'm missing something there it sounds pretty average but nine when placed on the front line the effects of the ability winter's call also take effect on her other frontline ally which winter's call is the immunity to cc and the immunity to damage i feel like there's going to be so many cool things you can use this in campaign um i'm thinking something like sorus i've always loved the idea of getting sorus to have an immunity buff but immunity and invincibility lets him stack up and start healing um things like I always mention these guys like Antandra Thane, all those annoying agility um, leather wearers who get one shot. If you can get this effect on them, um, it'd be crazy. So, and the other thing, I'm not too sure of how that's going to function with the signature item. Um, when her health drops below 50%, she gets it. Um, whether that's going to be when their health falls below 50%, they also get it. Um, or whether it's just when she triggers it for herself, it applies to them. Or whether they get their own application of this. I'm not too sure. Have to wait and see. But that is sick. I absolutely love the way this character reads and like looks savage. Now, let's go to Arena of Trials. Let's go to Smack the Dummy. And I hope the wolves come out. See, this is the one thing that makes me sad. The wolves are like my favorite part about it, but they don't come out. So let's put it down a bit. So this is this is a little blizzard that's going to hit everyone. Actually, let's let's just let's restart that. I just want to watch it on slow speed to see it really see the animations. I love the way she drags the spear at the start. So that she's got she's got invincibility from the start. That applies from the very start of the battle. That applied at the very start. Let's see how long it takes her to act, activate that again. Okay, there's the blizzard. I'm waiting to see her get like the invincibility thing around herself again. Unless she doesn't cast it again. Unless it's an only at the start of the battle thing. Which may no, it does recast. It just takes a while behind between casts. So that is pretty cool. If we look here, watch this. She gets it. Straight away she gets it. That is sick. That is sick. Now keeping in mind, I don't think like I don't think in this bit of the arena of trials. I don't think she had furniture in that thing because she should have been applying that to her front row, front row allies. So let's just see here. Let's um, let's just put someone who's... Let's just put you in there. Let's just see if it drops on them. Uh, let's go that, that. And let's go that for that. Okay, so let's see how this plays out. I want to put it down on slower speed too. So as you can see, Rowan has the invincibility and immunity to CC. This is going to be strong. I, like, I don't see how this is not going to be effective um yeah i want to see if ron gets it again 
We need her to drop low though. We need her to drop low to proc the invincibility again. I'm just trying to see if she gets it again. But like the mass slowing of the enemy team is going to be so nice. Like even if she, I just, I just wish the wolves came into play because like it's such a big part of the art and the tease of it but they don't actually come into it it's just it, it really does devastate me you know what i'd love to see i'd love to see them change the animation so that her ult when she does the ult this bit i'd love to see a bunch of the snowy wolves just jump out and attack everyone like one wolf for every enemy attack instead of the blizzard thing the blizzard thing's cool but i want the wolves involved the wolves not being there really makes me sad but besides that chick is awesome uh, I think she, I, I think she sounds strong. Once again, don't let me overhype this for you. You make your own judgment, but I'm excited because it's cool, and it's like got some new effects that are really going to support other units. So that makes me happy, and uh, she's going to be the next one I go for on my account because she's absolutely savage. Anyway, guys, I know there's other stuff in the update, but I really want to get to bed, so <laughs> I'll get up in six hours and make videos about the rest of the stuff. But I just really wanted to check her out, and she's. Bloody savage. I love it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.